Frederick? Frederick? Yes? Come in. Ah, good morning, Mr. Man. I brought along those transcripts. Not now, I got... Cam. Sorry. Is this not a good time for you? This is end of the world time. Unless I do something now, I could be in prison tomorrow. Or worse, dead. So, I'll just come back later then. This place is like a maze. I know. Evelyn Booth is here somewhere. So, your mother-in-law is selling antiques. Yeah, she wants to try something new. But Craig says she's having a tough time, so we should be really encouraging. Yeah, take it from me. Happiness isn't in the selling, it's in the buying. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I wish I had more space and spending money. I'd snap this up in a second. I've got a chair that goes with it. Name your price. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. I'll know if you're gouging me. No, I mean, I don't have any more space in my house. Oh. Well, these can be fun. Might be more your speed. It's the personal touch that leaves that pampered feeling. Oh, well, this is cute. I can get this for Nate. Mm, save your money. Buy something plastic. It's cute. It's old. It's cute. Who are you? Mary Jo, you're not going to believe it. What? Lyle has left the fair. Why? You know why. If Frederick raises the rent one more time, I'm gonna shoot him. Get in line. I bet Mr. Warner doesn't treat his people like this. Did you hear about the collection he just sold? I didn't just hear. I bought part of it. <gasps> you bought that one? Well... I suppose you can always sell it to some pathetic spinster. I thought I'd keep it. Mm. Like I said. Excuse me, uh, can you tell me the way to Evelyn Monroe's booth? Uh, down there, hon. Maybe they were just starting to get catty. Isn't that lovely? My Aunt Nancy gave it to me for my wedding anniversary. She bought it in Boston. She told me she went strolling down the street one day when... Oh, okay, well, thanks for stopping by. Evelyn, this is adorable. Oh, thank you, Maddie. How's business? Heartbreaking. I haven't even sold my tea cozies. But you sold something, right? Mm, I've met lots of nice people. Geez, Evelyn, I think I see why business is down. Where did you haul this in from? Do you like it? Uh, well, sure. Well, everyone's taste is different. Ooh, this is nice. Well, that was the dagger I thought would catch Tom's eye. Some men just don't like jewelry on their daggers. <laughs> the man isn't interested in anything outside the hardware aisle. This is beautiful. I know exactly where I'd put this. Well, then it's yours. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't just take it. Well, then how about a favor? Name it. Well, I've got all this stuff to clean out. I haven't cleaned it in ages, and if you'll help me tomorrow, I'll give you the vase. It's a deal. Okay. Evelyn, have you sold anything for a change? Sales are okay, Mr. Manning. In other words, business as usual. I'm starting to think I made a mistake giving you this space. Hey, hold on. How long have you had that armoire? Two weeks? Well, I've had lots of interest from customers. I don't call them customers until I see a check. Sell that thing or you're out of here. Hey, that's not fair. Yeah, that piece is hideous. I mean, who would pay good money for that? Sandra. A good salesman takes dross and turns it into gold.
It's me. No, no, don't hang up. Please. I think you're gonna want to hear this. I have a little proposition for you. Frederick? Frederick? God, what are you doing? Uh, Lori, uh, when did you get here? Are you looking for your uncle? Excuse me, I need to sit. Uh, well, ha have you seen him? You know, I've been trying to call him all morning and I just, have you? I've been by his place and there isn't much sign of him. I totally think he might be gone. What? What are you talking about? Lori? What are you doing? Look, Cam, we need to have a little talk before the police get here about, like, a lot of things. The police? Lori, what did you do? Hey, Becca called. Oh, I know. Thanks. I'll see you later. Hey, wait a minute. You're not going off to doing some Inspector Mom thing for her, are you? What makes you say that? Oh, I don't know. Rushing off without explanation? Going off to solve crimes? You keep this up, you're gonna get hurt. I appreciate your concern. And I'll try not to get hurt while I'm polishing your mother's antiques. Well, you... Oh. <laughs> I told you, I'm taking a break from all that. Family time. Good. Hello. May I help you? I'm just here to see Evelyn. Sure, go on in. Uh, this may sound like a strange question, uh, but you haven't seen around the mall this morning a shorter man, 40-ish dark hair, dressed in business attire. Mr. Manon? Yes, that's him. No, not since yesterday. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, please go ahead. You have a lovely collection. Well, thank you. I hear that knick-knack clutter is very in this year. Listen, can you tell me which way Evelyn Monroe's booth is? Excuse me, have either of you seen Mr. Manon? Haven't seen him. And you? No, sorry. Thanks. Mr. Manon certainly is in high demand. There's no accounting for taste. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'll just... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just... <laughs> Reorganizing? Relieving. Excuse me? Relieving, re-exiting, re-out of here. What happened? Well, that man told me to leave. Who? Manon. He told me last night he needed more rent, so that's it. I'm almost broke as it is, so I've had it. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. I haven't made any money off this stupid antique business in years. And why do you stay? Isn't it obvious? I love all this cutesy crap. <laughs> no, crafts is where the real money is, so that's it for me. Well, good luck. Thanks, son. Hey. Hey. Have you seen a Frederick this morning? Nope, I haven't seen anyone. Why? No reason. <laughs> Evelyn, what's going on? I did it, Maddie. I sold the armoire. Ah! 
This woman walked in right before closing last night and fell in love with it. That's so great. I'm so happy for you. Oh, and she's picking it up today. She couldn't get a rental truck over here in time last night, so she should be coming sometime after lunch. See that? You're getting the hang of it. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to make all your stuff sparkle and get even more customers. Oh, I want it to be perfect by the time she gets here. I am so excited. I don't know what to do with myself. And maybe she'll even buy more stuff. I saw her looking at that dagger. Uh, where, where did that go? Oh. Let's continue. I'll start on the inside. Okay. Oh, it's locked, it's locked. Oh, I leave some things in there overnight. Don't, hold on, just a minute. Sweet lady, Evelyn? I can't believe she'd have anything to do with this. It's strange. When someone you want to die, dies. I wonder what kind of weapon was used. I don't know. But they say he was stabbed. I'd almost like to see the body just to make sure. Well, I mean... It's if... okay, it's okay. I guess we're all a little relieved. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess this means that you won't have to leave the fair. Mm, I suppose. But could that sweet lady really have killed him? Sometimes looks can be deceiving. Okay, folks, let's clear the area. Let's do our jobs. Honey, honey, just, just... Honey, calm down. Just take a breath. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Oh, thank goodness, it's Rob. He'll help us. So let me get this straight. The only key that opens the armoire was never out of your possession, but you had nothing to do with this? Oh, no! No! Rob! Maddie, this isn't a good time. This is my mother-in-law. Uh-huh. Well, I was with her when she opened the armoire. Why would she do that if she knew anything about this? You're the amateur detective? Where would you start in a case with two women from the same family with the only two people who had access to the dead flea market owner? Rob, don't go down this road. You and I went to high school together, come on. I'm not saying she's guilty, but I have to investigate it like I would with anyone else. It's not like she had a motive to kill Mr. Manon. Well, Evelyn? I'm sure I would have liked Mr. Manon more if, if I had seen his good side. What do you mean? Evelyn, maybe you shouldn't say anything. No, Maddie, I should be honest. These are policemen. Thank you. He bullied everyone in the fair into selling his stuff for him. Why? He told me things would be smoother for me if I did. There's your motive. A crummy one. Maddie, please. Mom. Oh. Mom, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine, dear. Just shaking up. What can I do? At the moment, I'm questioning Miss Evelyn Monroe. No, you're not. This is my mother. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Honey, it's okay. We're working on it. This is the husband? Yeah, this is the... Who the hell is this? This is Rob. He's the one that I used to... Oh, you're with. the friend of the family. Well, you're an idiot. You stay away from my mother. You make one move, I'll take you all to jail. You didn't have that badge and that gun. Craig, stop! Listen, sweetie, you're not helping things. Hey, look, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I can be a character witness. That would be for a trial. There's gonna be a trial? No. Okay, more. everyone just calm down. The best thing for you to do is answer my questions and everything will run smoothly. You step back. Honey, come on. We'll figure this out. Now, how long have you owned the armoire? About two weeks. Detective, I have some notes for you. Yeah. Well, the victim was stabbed in the aorta and it seems clear that the victim was placed in the armoire after he was stabbed. Now, there were only traces of blood in the armoire, but the outside was spotless. So they cleaned up afterwards? Apparently. Thanks. Are these your cleaning supplies? I was gonna clean today. It's long overdue, but, but I don't understand. Why is it important there was cleaning? Evelyn, this doesn't implicate you. It just means that if somebody stuck around to clean up after they stabbed him, they weren't worried about being caught. Which means the crime probably happened after hours, and Evelyn doesn't stay here after hours. Ma'am, when did you get off work? 
right at closing, about five. And then where'd you go? Well, I went to the movies. I need more specifics, ma'am. Oh, well, the couple got married in the end, and it was very sweet. Oh, boy. I right, just wait. Wait a minute. Are you actually saying you think my mother had a clandestine meeting last night with the antique owner, stabbed him, and stuck him in an armoire? It's a possibility. Have you seen my mother? I am trying to do my job. But everybody just calm down and take a breath for five minutes. OK, you can do this. It's what playing in the park has trained you for. Come on, Maddie. You've got a new case to solve. Evelyn was framed. Can't you see that? Maddie, you're not objective. Would you leave me alone so I could do my job? Why would you stash a body where you know it's going to be found? Unless A, you're in a rush, or B, you're framing someone. We know they weren't in a rush because they stuck around to clean up afterwards. So B, they were framing someone. Did you find it? Yes, a full record of the armoire sales, past owners, certificate, it's all there. This is extensive. Yes, well... Frederick's antiques were the real thing. Totally authentic, and he liked to keep full records. Your, uh, Evelyn's friend. Daughter-in-law, Maddie Monroe. Yes, I've heard of you. You used to investigate for the paper. That's right. Then perhaps she might help us find Frederick's murderer. I don't really do that kind of thing anymore. No, she doesn't. Did Frederick ever have meetings here after hours? Not that I know of, but uh, we did both have keys, so it is quite possible. Do you have any security cameras? Frederick installed some, but they're all fake. Can you think of anyone who would have wanted to kill him? Well, Frederick had money squabbles, but that's very common in this business. Like what? Well, he knew the value of a dollar. He could go a little bit crazy if he thought you were trying to cheat him. I am sorry, Maddie. Are, are you not working on this case? No. No. Did, did he, he have, have any relatives? relatives? Well, he did have a sister, but she died years ago. However, her daughter is here. Frederick's niece. I guess she'll be inheriting all this. Is she tall with dark curly hair? Yes, that's her. Have you met her? She was here this morning looking for Frederick. I was wondering, do you think that- Maddie, that's enough. I'm gonna have to insist that you leave. Fine, I'll conduct my own interviews. People like me more anyway. Let's start over. Mary Jo, did you change your mind? Sure have. No reason to leave now that the blowhard is gone. At least not until we find out whether or not that niece is gonna gouge us like her uncle did. I heard the niece might be taking over. What's her name? Lori. I wonder if they've interviewed her. You know, she had a lot more to gain from Frederick's death than your mother-in-law did, especially now that he was gonna sell the place. He was? Yeah. I overheard him on the phone. He was done, was getting out of the business. Did Frederick ever ask you to sell his merchandise? More like ordered me. Pretty sleazy thing to do if you ask me. You know, people think they're supporting the little guy in these flea markets. Well, this place is a little nicer than a flea market. <laughs> Who are we fooling? It's all just a flea market. Million dollar auctions are just flea markets. Look, it's all about squeezing as many pennies as possible out of things that are just worth what the press release says. The illusion is that places like this are different. The truth is it was all going in Manon's pocket. But if that's true, then why kill the golden egg? Why would he sell? The internet. Everything's sold on computers nowadays. Places like this are antiques. Hey, I saw you eyeing this the other day. You want it? Ten bucks. You might be gouging me, but all right. Nice doing business with you. You too. You know, you people usually have the respect to pretend to be customers before manhandling all my merch. Oh, hey, you're, um, you're the amateur's friend. How is she doing? She's my mother-in-law, and um, mm. not so good. They're treating her like their prime suspect. Well, that's amusing. Most people in this business would have enjoyed a clearance on Frederick. Is that because he was making other people sell his merchandise? Worse than that. What do you mean? His stuff was all fakes. Do you have any proof? 
If I had, everyone would know it. Trust me. I would imagine that fake antiques would work their way into the system pretty easily. Let me tell you a secret. In the world of antiques, most of what you see are fakes. Then why did you want to expose Frederick? Because he was a jerk. Ah. Who was he close to? Well, I think he had some sort of girlfriend. I don't think they got along. Big uh, surprise, huh? <laughs> Don't you dare dust my Victorian tea set with fingerprints. So you're Inspector Mom. Yeah, well, that's a column I write. Cam told me about you. You're an investigator? I was. Then I need to talk to you. You need to find out what happened to my uncle. You need to find out what happened to my uncle. I'm trying. Well, here's my card. If there's anything I can do, you should totally call me. Thank you, Kate. You find anything, you let me know, all right? I'll pay you. No payment necessary. Cool. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't you want to tell me things about your uncle? Well, we weren't very close. Actually, we mostly just talked about the biz. This biz? Yeah. I'm in the antique trade, too. I work for an auction house called Nashman's. I've heard of them. Yeah, not surprising. Most people have. So you sold your uncle's antiques? He always wanted me to, but I just never took him up on the offer. Why not? Are you kidding? Surely you know the difference between the small time and the big time. And your uncle was the small time? Yeah. He tried his best, but some people just don't have the chops. I'm gonna miss him so much. Hey, give that back! What are you doing? Give that back to me! What? Give that back! Calm down, Courtney. Tell me what you know. I don't know anything. I was trying to buy a piece of furniture. Then why'd you try to get back to your van when you saw me? Forgot my cell phone? You ran! Expecting a call. Look, I don't know anything about a murder. All I know is I tried to buy this armoire yesterday, but the truck rental place was closed, so I had to wait until today. Now there's a dead guy, right? Did you know the victim? As if. And the victim's name? Maddie, I'm handling this. Does she know his name? No, I haven't told her yet. Then how does she know she doesn't know him? Miss Daniels, how do you know that you didn't know the victim? I don't know anybody who died. Besides, I've never been here before. How could I know anyone who died here? Do you understand the seriousness of this situation, Miss Daniels? Yes! I, I don't want to buy the armoire anymore. Can I back out of the sale? I'm sure that can be arranged. Why did you want it in the first place? Impulse buy. Had you ever been to this antiques mall before? No. I usually don't shop at places like this. First time I ever came here was yesterday. Come with me. I'd like you to fill out a statement. I wouldn't be surprised if she'd never been to an antiques mall before. Didn't seem like the type. So what was she doing here? And why did she buy that armoire in such a hurry? Hey, where's Daddy? Upstairs, with Tara. I brought you an early birthday present. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Yay, we're on the train. Sandra, he loves his train. I gave him five minutes. Listen, I knew the name Courtney Daniels sounded familiar. She's the same Courtney that comes to the club like all the time. Do you know much about her? She likes jasmine scented lotion. Her favorite drink is a mojito. Anything important? I could ask. Anything in particular? Her background. Is she well off? Does she have any problems? Ooh, this will be fun! I should be your Watson more often. I like danger! <gasps> no. A broken nail. I have to go. I'll keep you updated. Help, lifeguard! <laughs> Anything yet? Shouldn't you be napping? I thought you had the red eye tonight. 
No, they grounded me. They said I was too overwrought. <laughs> you believe that? That's the actual word the flight chief used. Overwrought. Hey, baby. You know, she's been down there for hours being questioned. Who would want to frame my mom? I'm trying my best to figure that out, honey. There's something about the sale of that armoire. It broke. Oh, honey, you've only had the train for two minutes. I don't, it was old. I'm glad you're gonna be here tonight. Can you fix this? Wait a minute, where are you going? To check for a false bottom. False, what does that mean? Let's see, um, I forgot my wallet inside. No, I saw a bad guy. Will you chase him down? Aha. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Hi. Um, my car broke down. It's right out front. It looks like it might blow up or something. Can you just check it out for me? I'll stay right here. For sure. Thank you so much. Interesting. My goodness, well, this puts things in a new perspective. Cocaine. Hmm. I know just who to talk to. All better? Everything was just fine. Thank you so much. Good night. Cam, right? You work here after hours often? What do you want? I'm gonna tell you a secret. I don't care that you were helping Frederick to sell his fake antiques. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. Don't bother. You were his personal assistant and accountant? How could you not have known? I... Um... But I'm not looking to expose you or Frederick. Not as long as you tell me about the drugs. What? Would you rather talk to me or the police? I told you, I don't know anything. Cam, we're talking about murder here. And you conspired with the victim in illegal behavior before he died. Now you can either let me help you, or I'll be forced to tell the police everything I know. Look, Frederick and I, we fought all the time. I never approved of those fakes, but drugs? Now, I don't know anything about that. Then talk to me, Cam. Tell me what you can't tell the police. All I know is that he sold fakes. Okay, and? And I don't even know where they were coming from anymore. I mean, they weren't coming from Frederick, that's for sure. How do you know? His fakes were mediocre at best. I pretended not to notice. But lately, they've really been quite amazing. I mean, an expert quality. I can't even tell which are fake and which are real anymore. And you're sure he didn't just improve? No. Not a chance. Not even the same ballpark. Do you have any ideas on who his new partner might have been? No. I was hoping that if I helped him, he would finally open up to me. Were you and Frederick close? 
I thought so. I thought that he loved me, but he could never face up to it. So he hung out with those bimbos to try and convince himself otherwise. What about the drugs, Cam? Don't you know anything? I know the police found trace amounts of cocaine at this desk. So he was a drug user? No. Not that I know of. I mean, he has been acting a little strange lately, and he's been trying to hide something from me. Maybe that was it. Yeah, did you find out anything? Maybe, I don't know. Lori called. Denise. She says she's gonna leave Frederick's house open for you tomorrow so you can go in and look for clues. Really? Was she gonna go with me? I don't know, but I think we should go. I don't know. Honestly, I haven't ruled her out as a suspect. Really? Possibility. May, what if this is that one clue you've been waiting on? I mean, she did say she wanted to figure this out. You know all those things you usually say to me? I know. But I can't sit here and do nothing. I feel so helpless. My mom is in an orange suit. I know, I know I don't always approve when you go out and do these things. <laughs> and I hate it. But please, man. I need you. Whisper, Frederick's not coming home. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, so what do you want to do first? You want to look for hidden panels? You want to look for false floorboards? What? But Where do you get those ideas? I play video games. I know things. We're just being observant, looking for anything out of place. Right. Are you kidding me? This whole house is out of place. Well, that's a good start. The police wouldn't have done this. Someone else must have been through here. Hey, look at this. Mr. Warner's private piece sells for $40,000. Man, Mr. Manny must have been really into this stuff. There's tons of articles all over the place about it. Fifteen thousand dollars for this. Craig. Yeah. That looks important. What is this stuff? What are you looking for? We don't know. That's the whole point. Wouldn't the cops already confiscated everything that was important? Probably, but they miss things sometimes. <laughs> People can be so predictable. Ooh, what is that? Victorian dresser, pre-war cabinet set. These are all orders for fakes. What is that one? I know what you're doing, I want it to stop. The reproductions are one thing, but this is a felony. I want all the fakes pulled until I can find evidence of what you're using them for. I've already told Lori and she's flying in to help. The next narcotics deal will not happen. I know how to stop it. What the hell? Someone was dealing drugs through the antique mall. Did you hear something? 
It's a shame we'll have to destroy it. You're not destroying anything. Uh, hello? I have a gun. Not yet. So you're the one who messed up the house? I can't afford to have any evidence lying around. I thought you said you weren't doing any business with Frederick. But then I guess that's what a silent partner would say. My stuff is known for being authentic, and it's gonna stay that way. So you killed him? Of course not. My uncle was much more valuable to me alive than dead. I made over a million in commission last year. Selling cocaine? No. And selling his expert work. I mean, sure it was fake, but the buyers like it better than the real thing. I don't know how he got involved in drugs, but it was enough to scare him into acting like a maniac. He was gonna destroy everything that we built. He was gonna get rid of the business and expose the fakes. Frederick had a silent partner who manufactured fakes and then it seems was selling drugs inside them. You really expect me to believe that wasn't you? I don't care what you believe, Maddie. And why'd you have to bring your husband with you, huh? I was told he never comes. He is a cutie, though. Hmm. So now, if you'll both just stand over there by the closet door. Go on, both of you. I don't want to get blood on anything valuable. I'm already having a bad day. Go ahead. Oh! <laughs> did you honestly think I'd let you hurt my wife? You didn't know you were dealing with the Air Force Reserve, did you? It'd have helped if she'd have took the safety off. Yeah. Get in. Come on. So, you book her? Lori was on an airplane yesterday morning. She's on the East Coast during the time of the murders. We've got the records. We're holding her, but not for the murder of Frederick Manor. What were you doing there anyway? What did I tell you about this case? I was defending my family. I'd like it better if you followed my orders and stayed away from this case. Followed your orders? I don't work for you. No, but I'm still an officer. And it's still my family. Half of which are suspects in my case. I don't believe this, Rob. You used to trust me. And I trusted you. We were a team. That was a long time ago. Extra ice this time. Oh, something very girly and very strong. <laughs> Hi, Courtney. Enjoying the sun? Oh, thank God for it. I need lots of sun and lots of alcohol. I hear you. So much drama. It's nice to get away. You don't know drama till you know my week. What do you mean? There's this guy. Oh, I shouldn't tell you. No, what? Did I ever tell you about the guy I was seeing, the one I broke up with? Tuesday night guy. What was his name? Not named. You know better than that. Right. I didn't hardly even like him. I mean, he was kind of unpredictable and very shifty. So I broke up with him. Yeah. No. I get a call from him a few days ago, trying to win me back with all sorts of presents. It's creepy. What kind of presents? Did he cut off his ear? His ear. Never mind. No, no ears. He tried to hook me with some stuff. But... I can't go into it. It's too weird. You can tell me. I like weird. Don't tell anyone, but I like a special kind of candy. No, nose candy. Court. Why? That stuff ages you. Cocaine and shrimp, Sandra. It's a diet secret of the stars. I could hook you up sometime if you want. Brain check. Hmm. So, you're saying... Yeah, so he got me a really great stash of the stuff. 90 grams. That was your present? That is weird. That's not the weird part. What's the weird part? The weird part is when I want to pick it up. Oh, God. He was killed. Stabbed. Oh, I didn't even get my stuff. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is just what I needed. Mean. 
Hey, it's me. Anything important? You will never believe it. Buying her drugs. He bought her the drugs? Yeah, buying her drugs. That's so weird. I was sure that he didn't know anything about the drugs until the day he was killed. Did she mention anything about a silent business partner he might have had? I don't know. I don't think so. Dad, you said you'd buy it for me. Honey, that's before I realized that it's five times more expensive than I thought it was. It doesn't look expensive. That's because things don't look expensive sometimes. Honey, I saw a $15,000 cat statue yesterday. Did... Did you see a $15,000 cat statue? Yeah. Was it gray and kind of long? Yeah, with black stripes on it. Yeah, that's it. But, Dad... Honey, no buts. Go. Ugh. Sandra, tell Courtney you changed your mind about the drug hookup. Perfect. Lovely doing business with you. Let's do it again. It's adorable. I'll be in touch. Mary Jo, clearing out your booth? Uh, yeah, I changed my mind again. We have enough money to get by. Don't worry about me. I got enough set away. You said you were almost broke. Yeah, almost, but not quite. I'll get back on my feet. That's true. I guess you could always sell that piece from the Warner collection. What? That little porcelain cat. Remember you were bragging to Michael about it? I didn't just hear. I bought part of it. <gasps> you bought that one? So I bought a cat. So what? You know, I didn't know it at the time because I don't know antiques. But Michael wasn't shocked at your lack of taste. He was shocked because it was so expensive. $15,000 for this? Where would I get that kind of money? Manufacturing fake antiques, like the armoire. And Frederick had the connections to get rid of them. His vendors, auction houses, you name it. Hey, it makes sense, you know? It's a big market for that kind of thing. So what? It's a crummy business. People do it. Yeah. And then there's that other crummy business of yours. Drugs. Drugs? <laughs> Look at me. What do I know about drugs? You know a lot more than I do. My contact said this would be good stuff. But you can have your sample back now. You've been using fake antiques to move drugs right under Frederick's nose. When he found the 90 grams, he must have been pretty upset. But then he realized he could turn dross into gold. I think you're gonna wanna hear this. I have a little proposition for you. Courtney. He made himself a real problem for you, didn't he? He had you cornered. You'll never find them. What do you want? I want what I deserve, a piece of the action. A hundred thousand dollars. And I get to stay and you cooperate. Don't be stupid, Frederick. This is big time. Two hundred thousand and ten thousand a week. Deal. You figured it was easier to kill him than put up with him. And how would I get him into a locked armoire? I didn't have a key. Mary Jo, if you're the one making the antiques, you really expect me to believe you couldn't easily have made another key. Made it pretty easy to frame my mother-in-law, didn't it? Uh, that's wrong. It's all wrong. Michael was the one working with him, not me. Michael? Yeah, yeah, that must have been it. I, I saw him with the jewel dagger the day before. Really? Yeah, they hated each other. That must be it. What's going on? How did you know about the jeweled dagger, Mary Jo? You weren't at the site. The newspaper only said he was stabbed. It was a guess. Pretty specific, though, don't you think? 
I think you better come down to the station. You did it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Looks like you're in the clear. We should have always been in the clear. Yeah, well, I don't know Craig's mom. But I do. I know. What's going on? Did you and Kathy split up? There you go again. Figuring everything out. I guess she just wasn't Maddie. Rob. I screwed up. Trust was broken. Three whole years didn't count for anything in the end. No value at all. You were together three years? I was talking about us. I guess trust is something I never had with Rob. I'm so grateful to have it now. It's worth more than I can say. Like the old antiques and the new, Maybe it's true that value really is in the eye of the beholder. Betty, thank you. I love you. Thank you for trusting me. I trust you. You're a little nervous, but let's go get more. <laughs>